That evening, after our files were safe, we emailed the two of us headed into town. We waited at a nearby bus stop, then took a bus to the next town over. On the way, I gave Daigo Di a general overview of everything Uchiyama san had told me. He folded his arms in contemplation. Hmm. Hmm, fair of a host, son. Maybe she was Yumihara's son's roommate. I'm just trying to speed it up, guys, because this is going way longer than I expected. <sighs> it's hard to say. Akunda Uchiyama san, she may have gone back to the Philippines. And, and now we're going to check out the hostess club where she worked? Oh, yeah, that's right. I've forgotten. I should know this. Or on host club. Duh. Okay. Basically, in these sorts of places, don't let single women inside. So. Oh. Oh, boys. Whatever. Oh, I gotcha. He looks so blatantly disappointed, I couldn't help but giggle. I know. Come on, you didn't actually think we were going on a date, did you? Oh! Well, no, but it kind of sucks me to point blank that I'm only good for my body. What a cutie. I'm <laughs> just smiling myself, I gaze outside the window. We've come pretty far in the central downtown area by now, and our stop was fast approaching. The bus turned into turned onto another street, and the sunset's rays blindsided me. I reached to pull the window shade down. Just then, the sun slipped behind a skyscraper, casting a shadow over the bus. Eek! And then a tiny squeak. Kaisan. At, at what? Kaisan. Daigo kun called out an alarm behind me. It, it's nothing. I think I was just seeing things. If she saw something, I missed it. You sure? Definitely sure. The hand I saw... Oh! I missed that. The hand I saw reflected on my shoulder in the window. It was just a trick of the shadows. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it was. No way in hell I was about to let that thing follow me everywhere. I whipped the window shade down and sat back in my seat. Then I heard the bus driver announce her stop. <sighs> Clubberry it was a hostess club located deep in the heart of the t what a name in, in, in the downtown area. Daigo Kun and I stopped by a nearby dining group. Could I eat and headed for the club? That's kind of like a date. This is the place where President Koyama's paramour allegedly worked. What? Neither of us were especially familiar with this sort of establishment. We went in prepared to stick out like a couple of sore thumbs, but once we were actually inside, we realized we'd been worried for nothing. The inside of the club was dimly lit with about ten tables scattered around. The interior wasn't too fancy either. Evidently, this club was on the dingy end of the scale. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh. Jazzy music. Yes. We took our seats at a table and pressed the hostess with the longest tenure. Or tenure. After a moment, a woman much older than me appeared, her face full of heavy makeup. <laughs> Welcome, is this your first time? Eriko put on a professional smile and promptly served us our drinks. Yeah, that's true. They don't, they're not like. They just visit with people and stuff, I think. <laughs> it is, I told you, been with the company the longest. Eric, uh, <clears throat> it is. I'm told you've been at the company the longest, Eric Side. How many years has it been? Oh, man. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. She's feeling on me. Oh. Let's see, somewhere around eight, maybe? Oh my, now here's a piece of eye candy. Love me a man with a bit of stole. How old might you be? Tw tw 23. Oh god. <laughs> uh -huh, I see. Right for the picking, but oh god. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? She slid in close to him and ran a hand down his thigh. He seemed quite flustered. Apparently, he wasn't used to this sort of attention. Unfortunately, I needed to use him as bait if I wanted the host to answer my quest. Oh, I get it. Okay. That's what he meant by the body comment. Because she's like, well, a single woman can't go in there, so... Yeah, okay. I get <laughs> Did you know Koyama-san, then? Eka-san perked up and nodded. Ah, I know. I was a 
ハブリは良さそうだったのに。Love this music. Sure did rest his soul suicide, was it? His business was doing so well, too. しいですね。この店はよく来てたって聞いたんですけど。So I've heard, I'm totally frequented here, too. ええ。エミーナちゃんがお気に入りでね。でも。あの子が帰国したら来なくなっちゃったけど。Uh, lady, oh, yes. of Amina Chan, but once she went back to her home country, he stopped coming around. Then she did go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then she did go back to the Philippines after all. So much for the theory that she was Motoko san's roommate. Amina san te. It's gonna be a good thing. When did this Amina san leave Japan? At this, Erika san stared at me and fell silent. Um, is something wrong? Had I struck a nerve? I shot Daigo Kun a puzzled glance. Then Ergo san lowered her voice.、ね、まさか警察、oh. Look, you're not a cop, are you? いいえ No! Shook my head, but Ergo san's sharp gaze didn't work. あんたたち一体何のためにうちの店に来たの Oh, oh, she's on to us. What are you people doing here exactly? Apparently, something I said made her put her guard up. I gave her a quick rundown of everything happening back in Chalet Rome. I still don't know what I'm saying, right? Once she decided I wasn't with the cops, <laughs> her expression s o f t e n e d Oh, of course. It's never that easy. Nothing's ever illegal, is it? I see. Well, Amina Chan was working illegally at the time. In other words, she hadn't obtained a proper work visa. If she was caught, she would have been deported on the spot. No wonder she thought we were cops then, yeah. Amina Chan. As I recall, Amina Chan went back home about six months before President Koyama died. You're sure about that? Oh, 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 Yeah, isn't that right, Mary Chan? Erika san turned and called it to an innocent looking young woman nearby. When Mary turned to look, Erika san waved her over. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is going way longer than I expected. Mary Chan, these folks here are asking about Amina Chan. Mary took a seat at the attendant station and bowed politely. If y'all can't handle it, you guys can watch this afterwards. I, I am so sorry. I honestly thought I'd be done at one, and it's past two, and I'm still doing this. But I'm gonna finish it! We're so close to the end. M Mary took a seat at the attendant station, and bowed politely. Hello, I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. Thick accent aside, I found I could understand her just fine. Erica saw him pour a drink from Mary Chan. Mary Chan here is from the Philippines too. She had a lot in common with Amina Chan, so they got along well. Yes, Amina was always very kind to me. She now has a sad smile. You must have been sad to see her go, huh? Yes. My remark had been casual at best, and yet I noticed a slight pause in her response. I mean, I say Erica saw, but evidently she lost interest now. <laughs> That Mary was, was, she was busy flirting with Diego. Oh god, no. She didn't seem particularly interested in me, but that was fine. <laughs> oh god. Diego was so flustered of Erica son hanging all over him. It was actually a little painful to watch. Oh, poor guy. But he'd have to deal with it just a little longer. Well, she better not. Hey. Shouldn't do that to ladies, shouldn't do that to men either. No. I heard Koyama san had an affair with Amina san. Is that true? Mary paused. It was an awkward pause, though. I got the sense she was merely searching for the right words.、Uh, President Koyama was Amina's best client. He came two or three times a week. Damn.、Huh. So the relationship didn't leave the club? Oh, damn. I'm not sure. President Koyama bought for Amina many things. They spent a lot of time together. So far, Koyama sounded like any other patron. It sounded to me like she was keeping the details of their relationship vague on purpose.、ね、so, was President Koyama popular with the girls? Mary thought for a moment. 
お金よく使う人みんな指名は欲しがったけどあまりアフトは。Huh, that's kind of weird. President Koyama liked to spend money. Everyone wanted to be chosen by him during work, but not after work. Not the most popular guy around him. Maybe he didn't have a harem of paramours after all. I guess that's another word. Just then, I felt a tap on my arm.、Hmm. I glanced over to find <laughs> Daikun imploring me silently his, his eyes. Erika saw it slung around his neck. Kai san, ore, mo muri. Aww. Kai, Kai san, I can't take much more of this. As for Erika san, she was eager to get him. To keep drinking with her. At this point, I was starting to feel genuinely bad. Yeah, get, get him out of there, dude. You're just being mean. Okay, good. Damn it, lady. He's your buddy. And possible boyfriend material. Well, I guess we should get going. And also, he's a much younger guy, so she might be like scaring the bejesus out of him. Which she said, we got work tomorrow, real early, right? Jack, Diego couldn't not have. Bit vigorously, popping up a fabricated excuse of his own invention. Maybe he just wasn't out, was, well, just wasn't cut out for clothing. Marisa, can we get the check? Once we finish paying our bill. We need to pay for something like that.、Ugh. Once we finish paying our bill, I dragged a tottering <laughs> Diagonal Kun outside. Poor guy. He had a thousand yards still, his cheeks covered with bright red. Oh god, no wonder. Put that out of the way. On to the next one. His eyes widened in terror. We're not done yet! I, I just want to swing by a friend's, friend's place nearby. It's not another hostess club, is it? Nope. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I felt a little guilty seeing the relief on his face. Our next destination was quite possibly going to be even more awkward for him. Ah, damn it. Truth be told, I just felt like going since we were in the area. Well, then, let's get going. How far is it? Excuse me. Oh. Before we could take it out of set, a voice called out to us from behind. We turned to find Mary Son standing there. Oh, hi. Timidly, she walked right up to me and whispered in my ear. Oh, Lord. I would like to speak with you about something. My shift is over soon, so would you wait for me somewhere? Is this about Amina? Do you know a park called La Mer? Beer? About a block down from here? Mary saw not. I wasn't surprised considering La Mer was fairly infamous in these parts. I'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah, let's meet up in the shadiest freaking place. Okay. Mary saw not. I went back into Club Berry. What a name. Whatever it was she wanted to discuss, she seemed hesitant to do so around other people. Once she was gone, Daigo and I headed down to Bustling Street. What? Nancy? Oh, ne yeah. Oh, hey, it's Kai. Ch long time to see. How have you been here? What do you mean, long time to see? I was just here the other day. Oh, is this like a. Okay. As soon as I walked in, Mama Nancy pulled me in a big bear hug. This little familiar was reserved for us regulars, but to Diego Kun, it seemingly came as quite a shock. Okay, I, I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, who's the cutie? Your boyfriend? Oh, no, don't do No. No, I bought him here as a gift for you. Oh, God, no. This is painful. I mean, I'm laughing, but it's painful. It's cringe worthy. Oh, you're so thoughtful. I'm gonna get you drunk tonight, mister. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. We drink before we got here. <laughs> I've forgotten how weird this game gets. <laughs> Don't be shy now. Come in, your little slice of cheesecake, you. Daikun smiled stiffly as Mom and Nancy pulled him into a hug, then escorted us to a table in the back. Good lord, what places you go to, <laughs> As we took our seats to the roof, Senior. Uh, senior? <laughs> senior Stamana Chan squeezed in, squeezed in next to us. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> oh, God. Dago can smile simply as Mama Nancy pulled him into a hug, then escorted us to a tail in the back. As I took our seats in the booth, senior staff had uh, a chance to squeeze in excess. As it happened, Lemire was a drag queen bar. Yeah, I kind of figured that. They didn't, they didn't put on any drag shows, but Mama's magnetic charm meant she always had a full house. What? <laughs> I used to come here all the time back before I moved away. Why? I mean, it's cool watching, you know, drag queens perform and stuff, but it just seems a little odd. I don't know, for a lone girl to go to. You feel like she'd go with, like, her girlfriends or something. But, but anyway, that's just me. So... Kai chat. Did you finish your big move? Lots of customers moving this time of year. Isn't our old pal Kamaki Kubi chan moving too? Now, are you a lady too? I mean, I mean, are you a man too? Dressed as a lady, or are you actually a lady? I can't really tell. It's hard to. Sure is, I offered to help with everything, but he shot me down. Oh, that's spoiled sport. Anna Chan passed out a warm, damp hand. Uh oh, damp hand towel. <laughs> God, that's awkward. To each of us as she spoke. Last time I was here. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess there's a shit. Last time I was here. Excuse me. They, they threw me a little party to celebrate me getting a new apartment. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I <laughs> hope you're funny. So, my usual username was taken. I thought this was a horror game. It, it, it is, but you missed a lot of the horror stuff earlier, I think. Now it's just kind of weird. What's wrong? Something bother you? Across the table, Mom began to pour drink. I just realized that there were comments on the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I don't see a timestamp, so I don't know when you, like, said anything. Okay. Across the table, Mom again to pour drinks for Because, yeah, when you when you came in, uh, Hopi Bunny, it was, uh... Uh, quite past a lot of the creepy stuff. So, you probably have to watch the whole thing later on in your spare time. I know you made a huge, uh... Sacrifice for this, and I appreciate it. Having to delete all your stuff and everything. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I, I gotta move this on. Okay, come on. In contrast, Anna Chan was on the slender side of a flamboyant tattoo peeking out from the back of her dress. My new apartment is a bit of a dark past. What do you mean? Oh gosh, don't tell me it's haunted. Both Daigo Kun and I feel silent in unison. Ah, see, that's why. That's why. Like five minutes ago, maybe not a lot. Yeah, see, that's why you're seeing all this weird stuff. A lot of the horror stuff starts at the very beginning, and they're just basically investigating it all. But it'll get scary again. It's just, I've forgotten that they do all this investigating in just literally a few days. That's why I'm like, good god. Actually, Diego couldn't have been quiet to begin with, considering he was wrapped up in Mama's embrace. Oh my god. No way, you're joking, right? Okay, can we move on, please? Guys, uh, you moved to M City, isn't that right? <laughs> mm hmm, M City. Uh, Maya Barra. Maya Barra. Her arm around Dago's. <laughs> Dago Kun's hips, Mama furrowed her brow as though she recognized the name. They couldn't seem to notice this, too. Oh, that's how you say it. Okay. Ring a bell! This is now Daichin? Are you living there too? Evidently, he made it to nickname status in record time. Yeah, I, I live in the apartment above. I'm surprised you're still going. Didn't you say it was like a two hour game? Yeah, I thought it was. I, I, I've forgotten that it's longer than that, but maybe it seems longer because I'm reading it. I don't know. So I don't blame you if you want to watch the whole thing at another time. Oh, God. That's the only thing about these visual novel games. They could take a while to get through. Mama, 
Because the part earlier was... Oh. I want onion rings. Aw, oh, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I saw you craving those earlier. Wait, you guys know about President Koyak? Can we get out of this club, please? I want to get the Creepo Factor back up. My bestie got on here and she just sees this weird game of, like, <laughs> no harm things at all. And I, I feel bad that she had to sacrifice it. I hadn't expected to hear that name here of all places. I took my drink and leaned forward across it. How could we? He was one of our best customers. Oh, God. And his little side piece worked at the hostess club down the street, as I recall. Uh, stop talking like that, dude. You're, like, freaking me out. Spam's chat of unrelated stuff. Yeah, that's true. I haven't had any chat like this whole time, so I was actually shocked when I saw stuff going on. <laughs> oh, just in the front door, Nichols. Hey, look, oh. oh, if it's a Mary chat. Oh, okay. Okay. Daewoo kind of looked over my shoulder at the door, then lifted his hand a slight wave. I turned to look, and sure enough, there stood Mary son in her street clothes. She looked a lot different in the thin knit sweater and jeans compared to her work uniform. Mama, well, yeah. You two know each other? I waved at Mary San as she approached and Mama nodded. Oh my god, this scene's going on too long. Sure, sure, sure do. She used to come by with her friend every now and then and have, haven't seen her in quite some time. Mary San sat down beside me in the booth. Should we make ourselves scarce then? Aunt Clayton sensed the tension in the air as she handed Mary San a wet towel. You two can stay, I trust you guys. I think Diego could mind. Any regular this bar it was bound to feel the same. This is actually rather well suited to business conversations. Even the seating was strategically placed to minimize potential eavesdropping. Oh, that's handy. This is how Mom continued to expand her network of contact. Uh, uh, contacts. Oh, that's right. Koyama chan's little side piece was actually good for uh, just some dude being molested? He wants your pet meat? It, it does really look bad. I, I, yeah, if you just came into this, this is probably really weirding you out, yeah. Okay, can we get to the serious stuff again, guys? We got a little off track here with this game. I've forgotten about it. It's been so long since I played it. Mama sensed where this conversation was headed. She vowed other co- okay, fine. Okay, uh, took a sip of her drink and looked at me and I could <laughs> First, what do you want to know about Amina? Okay, creepy music again. Good. He watched but me. <laughs> Couldn't think of it very sad hadn't been there for an explanation. I decided to give her, Mama, and Anna Chan a quick general overview of all that happened since my move-in day. Once I was finished, Mary Sun paused for a moment, then began to speak. Oh my god. I'm not sure if Amina was really the college girl's roommate or not, but I don't think she went back to the Philippines. Why is that? You remember that I went to the airport back there? I didn't see Amina. Huh? Oh, so how did you know she was going home to the Philippines on that particular flight? Dad kind of looked puzzled. Well, because Amina told me. That wasn't the right question. But before I could ask, Baba beat me to it. What made you think Amina-chan wasn't on the flight then? And why did you lie and tell her when you saw her off? That was the biggest mystery of all. Amina showed me her ticket. It had her name and flight number. Uh, okay. But Amina was not in the lobby and they did not call her name or the loudspeaker. In other words, her name wasn't mentioned in the final call for no show passengers. Not really scary. But me is amusing, but not really scary. <laughs> Nah, this isn't the scary part. This is just them investigating. You you missed all the scary stuff earlier. It'll get scary again after this, though, I think. And this game is near the end. It's just dragging. I didn't expect to be up this late still playing this. But said about it is strange. I know I arrived ahead of our agreed meeting time. I never took my eyes off the gate. Please. <laughs> Oh, God bless you, Hope. <laughs> Live and mess up. Hmm. 
That's kind of weird. Okay, oh my god. I totally forgot these scenes. Stop talking like that. Stop blushing. I said that question I knew was on the way. Dragon. <laughs> Drag club. Yeah, 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 yeah. First was a hostess club. Where Diego couldn't, you know, the guy in the glasses, obviously. Uh, <laughs> the uncomfortable one. Was, like, bait. And now he's not really bait for this, but, of course, since he's, you know, hot, he's, well, you can't really tell in this picture. But anyway. He fancies himself in sugar day. Okay, what on earth? Ugh, gross. Mama Snicker. Yeah, now took. He had target girls and he had the money. He never seemed to just Japanese girls. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, the, the girl is Philippine. Only four girls are willing to sing his praises, especially those who are sending money back home. Oh. He'd find a girl, keep her around for a while, then once he was sick of her, toss her like yesterday's trash. Still, God, sounds like an ass. And that sounded like he'd been an awful piece of work while he, while he was alive. Daigo couldn't stare down his drink, grimacing. Anna-chan busily poured around another- No, let's not get drunk anymore, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh god bless you. <laughs> oh man. So Yeah, that Koyama kept a mistress. There. Oh my god, this scene's going on forever. I understand some dare to get married. Men will go to great lengths to hide things from the wives. <laughs> ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、
Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. That, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> the chats keep going. <laughs> oh, now you got a sloth on there. I'm, I'm shocked. I didn't know you like sloths. I think you're just... <laughs> In the end, Mama nearly dragged us to an after party by insisting on taking a highly sloshed dying. <laughs> yeah, he's been getting drunk this whole time. Not... It had been a very fruitful evening, but I was ready to drop. Once we arrived back at... I took us straight up to apartment 301, and the two of us crawled into bed. <gasps> it's the same bed? Oh my god. Okay, can we bring the creepy part back, please? Okay. Thank you. I, th 